Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I want to... <laughs> Lost game. No, wrong. That's an ending. Yo. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Terrell here on Terrell Game. Boss here to bring you in a motherfucking unboxing. Um, uh, since I've seen two people... It's, it's, here's the thing. Unboxing... Most of this stuff has not... I haven't seen unboxings of. But the two things that are the most important have already seen being unboxed. In my mind, my inner fanboy is raging because those are the two things I wanted first. But some of this stuff hasn't been unboxed yet, and I can take the hit because Master King JC and uh, Matt, hey Matt Gerard, fucking unboxed. Well, Matt posted a fucking thing on uh, Facebook and made me rage. And Master King JC was a dick and fucking was like, ah, I got it before your trail, so fuck you. Anyways. I'm unboxing those things, and then, oh, and Rodney got the thing I wanted fucking when it came out, because he bought it from Best Buy. I got my shit from Right Stuff. And because I didn't pay for fast shipping, but uh, it's all good, because I got everything else. So, that's, uh, fuck all the introductions to get into it. It's not just those things. Actually, let me explain. Well, I'll do those things first, and then I'll do the new stuff later. So, it would be this, and this. And then I'll do the other stuff afterwards. First thing, the One Piece fandom said you need to get this, and it's one of the few. It's one of the few covers that actually has Robin on it, so I'm happy. And this is via this is episodes 42 through 52, which is the reveal of CP9, and I think the beginning of the Sea Train stuff. I don't think all of it, but I know it's the beginning of it. But anyways, I'm hyped. Uh, I don't think the Wands they fight. I know the Frankie backstory stuff is near the end of these set of episodes because the Frankie backstory stuff starts around episode, I think it's like 249, 250. So I'm pretty sure this the, the ending of this box set is Frankie's backstory and the whole thing where Usopp reveals the shit about the ship that I'm not going to spoil. But uh, I'm just, I'm glad my girl Robin is getting some cover time. And I know in the next one is the Sea Train stuff, which angers me because I actually do want to see the Sea Train fights. Uh, Sanji's, Frankie's, and uh, I think those are the only two, actually. Mainly because I want to hear Wanze's English dub voice because I'm curious. Damn, these things are tight in here. Okay. Uh, a lot of you guys don't even know what these pictures these people are, but let's just say they're quote unquote familiar faces. And here's the back. Uh, what the hell is this? Exclusives on the boat behind the scenes? That's new. What the hell is on the boat behind the scenes? They haven't done that before. Are they doing more extras before the, because we're going later in? I mean, mind you, this is the second to last season four box set. And I probably should read the letter of Marquis because I don't think I did it for the last one. Because I was being a fanboy and the disc is the same. What the fuck? Was that the Funimation card? Yeah, it probably was. The discs are the same, so there's nothing too much there. See? Discs are the same. I'll get that fucking Funimation card in a minute. And I will read the letter of Marquis for the sake of... Because I haven't read it in a while. Things have never looked bleaker in the world of the... Well, okay. Things that, I haven't done this in a while, so excuse me if I'm really bad at it. I was really bad before, so I guess there's no justification. I'm just being consistent. Anyways. Uh, things have never looked bleaker in the world of One Piece. The going merry is no longer seaworthy. Robin and Usopp have left the crew, and the rest of the gang stands accused of a cold-hearted assassination attempt. Luffy and his remaining mates have a plan to prove their innocence, but a mysterious gang of cutthroat killers... A one step ahead of their every move. Dark secrets and tragic pasts are revealed as Luffy and Zoro fall to a formidable foe, and Chopper finds himself facing life or death scenario. Meanwhile, as the monstrous storm threatens to sink the city, Sanji lurks in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to reach out to Robin and reunite his friends once and for all. Which is funny because this this shit won't even get resolved until CP9 slash post CP9. So. <laughs> it's like in retrospect if you just look at season 4 by itself it's like one of the most it's kind of like one of the most incomplete seasons you've ever watched because the ending of, se the end of, of season 4 is literally 
pretty much you went into an arc with your entire crew and you're and you're ending an arc with like two of them gone so uh yeah also my leg just cramped there that's why I kind of did this whole fling back thing anyways <laughs> that was stupid so yeah I'm curious about this whole behind the boat thing that didn't make any I don't know why I said it that way oh no okay so Frankie's pass starts on on 248 Ah, oh, 247 is the Usopp stuff, okay. So, the last episode in here is the... Pretty much when the sea train's about to go off, alright. Alright, alright, alright. I wasted a lot of time on that. Next thing, Tiger and Bunny. These This Blu-ray case is really thin. Like, god damn. I have been watching this on Neon Alley. This is my shit, bro. I, I love this. I love this series. This, this Blu-ray case is really thin, though. Seriously. Like, if you if you can go to Best Buy and just touch and like hold these for a second, you know what I mean. Obviously, you know I, I would suggest buying it because Tiger Bunny is my shit, bro. This is like one of those animes where I'm just kind of like, why the hell is this not on TV yet? If I can open this thing, this is, it'd be easier because the oh god, yeah, this is gonna be a pain. Uh, open, damn it. Getting pumped out by a fucking disc, man. That's how manly I am. Piece of shit. <laughs> Where the hell? Ah, is that it? Yes. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, so much trial and error. I know Rodney got this before I did, but uh, I finally got this bitch open. So fuck it. Uh, as I said, I really like, T Tiger Bunny's probably like my favorite thing to watch on Neon Alley. I get that shit every Friday. The problem is, this is the first season, and after watching the second season stuff, like I think we're on episode 21 on Neon Alley, it makes me really want the second DVD box set, because I probably think the second half is better than the first half, which is partially due to because how much of the shit I like in the first half. So, uh, we have the Neon Alley slip case thing in here. I haven't bought a Viz anime in a while. Uh, Tiger and Bunny, Kotetsu and Barnaby, and then them in their new outfits. Kotetsu gets no love at the beginning of the series. That's what kills me. Uh, what are the special features in here? Uh, Blu-ray, 1080p, Japanese and English. Oh, the making of Tiger and Bunny, production art, spe special logo art, Japanese trailers, and then clean only, uh, uh, opening and ending. So, yeah. I've only been through like two of the box sets. It's like we're already like eight minutes. But anyways, this rest of the stuff isn't gonna take that long anyway. Next thing, yeah, we start. They finally that so that whole thing about them releasing this in America, that wasn't bullshit, son. Look at this. Look what we got. Also, this is really thin. I don't know if they're. This is. It seems thicker. It seems thicker than the black and white ones, but it, it's like thin as shit compared to a normal volume. And I'll compare it with one I'm about to show off in a minute. So this is the beginning of Ruby and Sapphire, which I can't read because I haven't finished Johto yet. Because I've been, yeah, I've been dicking around. I, I'll admit it. I don't fucking care. Uh, I guess Ruby is the is the male character and Sapphire is the girl. So Ruby is Brendan and Sapphire is May. Uh, he's probably going to pick Torchic because that's usually how it works. I'm probably just going to glance at this real quick. Cause this is Hoenn region. I'm trying to see. Also, yeah, they, I forgot to, they reveal. Uh, oh yeah, this is where contests introduced. So I'm wondering how the contests play out in the manga. This is the first time Ruby and Sapphire has been released in America, so that's cool as shit. So yay! I'm actually surprised they're getting on. They've been getting on the fucking uh, Pokemon train for a while. I mean, they they they're doing the normal volumes of black and white. I know that they're doing. The, the the Pokemon movie Buck and then they're doing Ruby and Sapphire so that's awesome uh, I might be missing one but I'm not sure and then obviously I haven't seen this series so I was kind of like yeah I probably should check this out so uh, I've, I've always heard good things about it I've just never really sat down and watched this next one so they came out with the classic I think this is part of the classic yeah, anime classic line Trigon and this is what it looks like. I don't know what's up with this cover, though. I'll be honest with you. This is a weird-ass cover. I mean, it looks beast, but I'm just saying it looks weird as hell. 
I'm totally used to the whole. I was expecting this to be on the cover. Nope, it's gonna. This is the. It's weird, man. Huh. It's. I've. I've. I've like caught glimpses of these episodes, but I've never actually sat down and watched Trigun. So, I'm gonna try this out. I know this is what 26 episodes, I believe. I mean, Trigun's like one of those old classic. It probably seems like one of the only roles that people were fine with. Uh, doesn't Johnny Yambosh play Bash here? I don't know why I'm looking to think they're actually going to put... Yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. They're not going to actually put Johnny Yambosh's name on here, but he's in here. And then as far as the discs are concerned... Oh! Well, you can't see it, but it's a double-sided... Actually, let me flip this over. It's a double-sided... Uh, well, not double-sided, I guess double cover I, apparently all the Funimation postcards are going on the floor I don't know what the fuck is going on today uh double reverse cover but I'm probably going to keep this front one because the front one actually looks a beast and I like the originality so we got the discs and that is Trigun the complete series so I made no promises because I still haven't finished Black Lagoon and Helsing yet Though, though they released all the Helsing recently in Japan, so I'm, they probably gonna release the last two volumes here pretty soon, probably like next year. Um, the other manga volume I got is the last Fishman Island volume of One Piece Raw, and this is awesome. Uh, this actually this actually goes all the way up to the uh, beginning of Punk Hazard. Like the last chapter in here is the whole. Actually, is this this volume is like right behind the anime. The anime just passed these episodes a little while ago. This chapter goes all the way up to pretty much. Uh, this goes all the way up to the chapter where. Well, I guess that's not the ending of a chapter. This goes right back up to the whole, like, no legs, Kinemon beginning stuff. So, that's where it stops, and I think it starts on the, does it start on the ass whooping chapters? No, 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 this begins after they've already wrecked all the Fishman niggas. And then the rest of this is just basic stuff. Yep, so. But I like this volume cover, I'm a sure Hosha fan, boy, she's not gonna be on. I think, is this the second cover she's on? Second or third cover she's on. Anyways, and it has Tashigi and Smoker and Tamago and uh, Peckums and Jinbei and Luffy. Still don't want Jinbei as a fucking straw hat. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm be. I'm be. The, I'm be on that fucking side of the boat. Anyways, last thing, Pokemon Black and White, Volume Three, which just goes all the way up to Episode Thirty Six, which angers me because I think all that is is. I think it's probably the episodes I don't really give a damn about. Like, I know the Team Rocket plot's on here, and the whole Axew learning Dragon Rage, finally. I think, I, I was whole, I don't think the Bianca episodes are on here yet. I think that's the next one, which sucks because I want it on this one. Maybe that's just my bias, I, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure, and this probably has the, does this have the four, or is this, let me see. No, this is this is the gap of filler they had. I remember that. So we got Emolga and we have Excadrill on the DVD covers. Even though Iris isn't on the damn cover, ironically. I don't know why actually I don't know why Iris isn't on the cover. They only have Silent and Ash. I mean I like Iris enough, so I don't know why she's not on the cover. Oh, it's probably because it's her and Ash on the second cover. Like, the second cover doesn't have Silent on it, I don't think. So they just switched it out, I guess. Uh, let me see. Mm. Wait, is the used fucking water gun episode in here? It probably is. That's lame. I'm just looking, I'm looking at the whole... Uh, if, if the shit will focus, you can see it. I'm looking at the the screenshots. That looks like everything up until probably that Team Rocket plan in the Bossa City. So we'll see. This is up to episode 36, and then you have a mole going here with their 
Why does Emoga's ears look so short? This is probably back when, like, Emoga, oh, Emoga's still on her bullshit, and her and Snivy are probably gonna go at it a lot. I like that shit. That shit's funny to me. But that's essentially everything I got. This video is like 15 minutes long. I'm so sorry. It was probably because of me dicking around and being all flustered and shit. Because I haven't done an unboxing video in a minute. And uh, I don't even know Bakuman's sub yet. Because it wasn't sub when I checked Saturday and Sunday. But we'll see. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. This has been the Vlogs Again from your boy Terrell. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.